This video brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Green Man Gaming. Now you could get an ad for this, or you could get another goddamn ad for Dungeon Alchemist. Hey, Cutter. Been a while, hasn't it? Alright. Now, being a little careful with this shit, she's been giving us some grief. Found her floating with no one aboard and no distress signal. Manifest has been completely wiped. It's like they took a long walk and never came home. Just keep an eye out, all right? Don't think any little green men are gonna come jumping out at you, but there might be uh, some leftovers of the crew. We were out. It's me, it's Hunter, back at it again with some more gameplay to keep you visually entertained, but this video is mostly going to be me talking about where I want this channel to go. Maybe at the end I'll fully dedicate myself to talking about the gameplay of this video. However, there's a lot to talk about regarding the channel and what's been going on and why this channel has been giving me a bit of well, pause for thought, as it were, I guess. Basically, it's probably... Something special? Take a look at that rail gate. Eh. I'm sorry. Wow. What a beauty. That can't be safe. You know, no matter how many times I see that rail gate fire. Anyway, um, basically, it's no, it's no surprise that I've been in the middle of this huge sort of branding rethink sort of, sort of deal. That's, uh, that's why, uh, D&D &D is no longer on this channel, it's over on the main channel. Uh, recently I've been discussing bringing back the tabletop and, uh, a bunch of other things. Sort of, um long format videos that are more nerdy in nature. Now, video games already are inherently nerdy, but I but I feel like with the uh, surfacing of our new D&D show and our potential for bringing back the tabletop, I kind of want to double down on it, you know what I'm saying? I kind of want to um I kind of want this channel to be a lot about that. Now, that's not to say that we're going to get rid of gaming altogether, but I kind of do want to shift the focus of this channel, mostly away from playthroughs. Now, it's no surprise that the playthroughs on this channel aren't exactly popular. Like, then that's coming from my observations. My, according to my observations, we do a playthrough, and the first episode, yeah, we garner a couple of views. But then that wanes off really quickly. I'm like, I mean, real fast. But every time we do, like, a one-off video for, like, one small special game, like, kind of what we got going on on Wednesday now, like, like our videos for stuff like Valheim, and uh, we got another one upcoming for uh, Mirror's Edge, and a uh, couple of other, couple of others uh, that are now in the pipeline. We got a decent buffer for Wednesday now, um, and uh, yeah, Wednesday is sort of was sort of like an experimental sort of deal that I wanted to see if that type a video would do better, and it is indeed doing a lot better, and I kind of miss the days when that's what the channel was all about, uh, but back in, back when we would just, you know, play video games, and, but now the channel is just completely bogged down with playthrough after playthrough after playthrough because there's a lot of games that I want to play through for you guys and that is indeed a thing that I still want to do it's just it's just become that is now the main thing going on with this channel 
is we just keep doing these playthroughs. And I do, and the, and that's just not very popular anymore. The whole channel isn't very popular, but there are videos that do better than most. Our Fallout stuff, for example, always does better. Uh, for, and that the reason for that is obvious. Fallout is basically rooted into the DNA of Headhunter Productions. Um, Fallout, all of our Fallout stuff, it's it it, it always does better. And that is, and, and and there's, and that is in no small part to stuff like Hunter Place Fallout 76. Anyway, um, what did I say? Playthroughs. Playthroughs are currently the sta currently the main thing on this channel. But I want to shift the focus away from that. I want us to get back to you know fun one-off videos where we play games again. I, w I want us to play more games, and I want us to have. And I want us to just, you know, have fun again. But with, like, all kinds of games. Not just... Not just games that we have to play all the way through. Which, that's... It's it's just... Not fun anymore. Now, that's not to say playthroughs are going away. Because they're not. In fact, the playthroughs we currently have going, we're going to wrap those up. Uh, but I want, I want there to be less playthroughs, if that makes any sense. I want I want us to do fewer playthroughs um, than what we're currently doing, because right now it's Monday, playthroughs. Tuesday, playthroughs. Wednesday, playthroughs. Uh, Thursday, two more playthroughs. Friday, sometimes we do Kerbal, which Kerbal I absolutely need to... Uh, I absolutely have to keep Kerbal because that does have its audience. It's not big, but we but we do put a lot of work and planning into our Kerbal stuff. So Kerbal's not going anywhere, obviously. Another one's that another more stuff that isn't going anywhere is obviously our Fallout 76 playthrough just came back, and everyone really likes the Fallout 76 stuff because it's Fallout. Fallout is a staple of uh, Head Hunter Productions. It's rooted into the DNA of Head Hunter Productions. We can't we can't just get rid of it. It's that's a lot of the reason many people follow Headhunter Productions. That and Hunter Reviews. But Hunter Reviews is movies and sometimes the very rare instance is a TV show. Um, and that's kind of hard to do on this channel unless Hunter Reviews shifts focus to video games, which is... Every now and then I think about doing a video game review sort of thing. We kind of had that happening with our sort of VR sort of thing, but that was mainly me ranting on about how depictions of VR in TV and movies are always wrong, which, to be fair, it is indeed always wrong. Now... Playthroughs that are going to wrap up are obviously we're going to finish up Ratchet and Clank, uh, and the ch and the chances of seeing another Ratchet and Clank playthrough on this channel are very high. I notice that people tend to watch um, my stuff if I really like it. If I happen to really like the game, people do seem to know that I am a huge Ratchet and Clank fan, and uh, Ratchet and Clank 3 is my favorite Ratchet and Clank game. So that's not going anywhere. Uh, and uh, after the third game, I can't, 
Like the plan right now is uh, let me let me let me tell you let me tell you my uh, secret Ratchet and Clank plans so that they are you know, not secret anymore. I guess uh, the secret Ratchet and Clank plan is that every year or so we have one playthrough of Ratchet and Clank. Kind of like how we uh, have annual videos for stuff like Treasure Planet Battle at Procyon, or uh, we have, a, or we have uh, every now and then we have a DayZ video, and we put a lot of production into the DayZ video, uh, which we haven't done one of those in a while, and I am super sorry about that. There was one in the works. In fact, you've probably seen the clip where I shoot myself. Um, that's been floating around in a couple of uh, videos on the main channel, advertising our Patreon sort of thing. And you piece of shit. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to go over there. Anyway, um, you've probably seen that clip floating around. Yeah, that was, uh, that was gonna be us playing, um, what, what was it? Playing, uh, DayZ. And people like to watch me rant on Daisy, uh, and that is because Daisy, or at least the standalone, is a bad game. And uh, that's another thing that people like to watch me do is uh, see me play bad games. Stuff like uh, I feel like Builder Simulator is a bad game, and I think people liked that video. I certainly had fun ranting on it, especially since the developers gave me a key for that game in exchange to play their game, which that does happen more often than you might think, is we do get keys or offers for keys for these games. I don't know where these offers come from. I don't know how they get my uh, information, I don't know how they know to send me keys for these games, but they do. I do get offers for free keys to play these games. And that's awesome. And I'm and I am nothing but humbled by that. And but it's just hard to fit them into the schedule because there aren't enough open slots and that's kind of what Wednesday is all about now is I want Wednesday to be the day where we can just play games but I want to do that more I could put a second video on Wednesday but I don't want it to just be about Wednesday I want us to be able to do stuff like this all the time I want like single one-off videos um, uh, for, get like, maybe, like, every now and then we do, like, an asset flip or something, you know, just as a joke. We, we have a joke video and we poke fun and we have a good laugh. Maybe we have a good laugh, maybe we have a cry, maybe, uh, maybe we scream. And we're out of tethers. Maybe we scream at the game, who knows? Anything could happen, and it might be fun, it might be uh, hair-pulling, I might not do the video at all, because, and that does happen. That does happen. Sometimes I'll get two minutes into a video, and I'll be like, you know what, I'm not feeling it, I'll just cut it off, I'll delete what I have, and that doesn't go up. Uh, that happened recently with a Destiny video, but that was before we, um... Oh god, what was it? That was before we did... One sec. Okay. Where was I? Destiny. Destiny is, uh... Yeah, every now and then I'll do a video, but then never upload it. And that normally happens because I'm probably not feeling it, or I'm tired, or... I'm like, you know what? This, this isn't working. This isn't gonna work. This is not a video worthy of uploading and it did not have a strong introduction enough to Ooh. or sometimes there'll be other reasons for me not uploading a video uh whether it just gets forgotten or pushed to the sidelines or sometimes the playthrough doesn't pan out or other stuff like that 
Another vid another video that does extremely well. All our Treasure Planet Battle of Procyon videos do well, but also recently we've been playing Manic Miners. Now Manic Miners does extremely good. Manic Miners does extremely good, and that is because people are very aware that Like a Rock Raiders is my favorite game of all time. Anyway, um, but yeah, uh, Manic Miners isn't going anywhere, but the problem with Rock Raiders is that it has one storyline with a fixed number of maps, and we have played all of the maps. In fact, we've played, um, in fact, we've played, what was it, we've played, uh, Frozen Frenzy, like, four times on this channel. Four times the same map, and it's an ice map. That's another thing I want to get away from in Rock Raiders are the, all the ice maps, which we, for some reason, can't stop playing ice maps. Not even in Manic Miners, we always end up with ice maps. Cutter, Links ain't gonna take that node. You gotta burn it up or toss it in the furnace. What the fuck is a node? <sighs> anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, I'm sure it was something about the channel. <sighs> anyway, um, playthroughs. We have too many of them. Now, there are playthroughs that I still want to do. Like I said, again, we're not getting rid of any of the playthroughs we currently have. In fact, I'm going to bring back a few of them just to finish them up. Homeworld, for example. I do want to go back and finish Homeworld. Because that, because contrary to what people seem to think, that is a good game. It just doesn't really make for extremely good gameplay. But we're in really deep with that game now, so I kind of want to go back and finish it. Also, I kind of want to finish Homeworld 2 and Cataclysm, or whatever they're calling it now. They originally called it Cataclysm. They had to change the name because Blizzard owns the rights to all games called Cataclysm. Or some company. Probably Blizzard, honestly. It's probably Blizzard who owns it. Um... Now, before we, uh, before people go crazy and start saying, oh, but Hunter, does that mean you're not doing any more playthroughs? No, there are still playthroughs that I want to do, but I want to limit them. I want to limit the number of playthroughs we have going on with the channel at any given time. That, and maybe we have a long play of something, and by long play, I mean we pick a franchise and we play through it. Right now, obviously, we got Ratchet and Clank going, but we only do, like, one of those a year. So... Well, that's unsettling, isn't it? <laughs> okay, hang on. This is kind of un actually unsettling. Okay, it's off. It's off. There we go, Cutter. That half's done. Next one you see, just rinse and repeat. Okay, yeah, great. Um, now we know what the now we know what the nodes are at least. Also, that's really unsettling. Putting one that I have to burn right on the nuclear reactor. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You're kidding me, there's another one? Oh no. I think there's a second one. Where? Ow.
Okay, whatever it is, it does not want to die. So... And that's that. <laughs> anyway, now that I have blown up my first nuclear reactor, um... Yeah, that's depressing, isn't it? Um, but uh, there are a number of playthroughs that I still want to do. Uh, for example, we never did finish the Mass Effect playthrough, and now we have the HD Mass Effect playthrough coming out, and it actually looks good. One of my biggest gripes with Mass Effect has been the fact that it it the it's it's a really stupid gripe, but every time I play Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, all of the textures look like garbage. It's very blurry, and if you play it on PC or maybe even console, you probably notice that all of the textures are really, 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 really bad. And it drives me crazy because it just takes all of my immersion out of the game. Like, it's like, oh yeah, no, we gotta stop the Reapers, but... Oh, look at that texture work on that, uh, on that fucking Geth. That's garbage, isn't it? And it just takes out all the immersion for, for me. So, but, but now they're coming out with the HD Mass Effect, and I'm like, oh, this actually looks good. Maybe now we could actually go back and play through Mass Effect, you know? Uh, another playthrough that I am quite dedicated to doing is, um... Oh god, what was it? Uh, I had like a small list of them that I said we would do, I promised. Oh, Subnautica Below Zero. We, we're still gonna do Subnautica Below Zero. Um, and, uh... Well, uh, th that's actually a given. The Subnautica playthrough was actually really, really good. In fact, I went back and I watched our entire Subnautica playthrough. Uh, to prepare for the Subnautica 2 playthrough. Now, another cool thing about the Subnautica Below Zero playthrough is that they changed the entire story. So all that stuff we saw in those other two videos that we did, that's gone. Or at least most of it is. I'm pretty sure we're still gonna run into Margaret and, or Marguerite as, uh, her weird name pronunciation would be. Um, but I'm pretty sure we're still gonna run into Marguerite, which is honestly one of the most, more interesting story elements, to, let's, let's be fair. Uh, and, uh, another, uh, and, uh, I think that might actually be all that I currently have planned for, actually. Some Subnautica Below Zero and some Mass Effect, and both of those are coming out later this year. So that's the short term, uh, which playthroughs, which we, which we have planned. But another one I, but another one that I really want to do, and this one might be a bit of a surprise to a bunch of you. Horizon Zero Dawn is a game that I really, really want to uh, want us. I want us to play through that. I know it's kind of long, but it's also really good. The storytelling in that game is really, really good. And I want to put my uh, sort of narration of, of sort to the test. I want to. I want us to like d deep dive into the story of that game, sort of. I want us to get really into the story, more so than I did in my first playthrough. And I got really really into the story during my first playthrough. Like, wow, that game's storytelling is just phenomenal. It's it's honestly incredible how good the storytelling is in that game. And I want us to, like, really get into it. I want us to um, experience the story uh, together, I guess. But also kick, kick ass with a bow and arrows. Because, uh, in my, in my opinion, there aren't a lot of games that do bows correctly. There aren't enough good bows in video games. And part, I, I partly say that because I hate bows. I hate them so much. I do not like bows, despite the fact that uh, our upcoming D&D &D campaign, my character uses a bow. Uh, but 
That's, but that's neither here nor there. But I play a ranger. Um, that's neither here nor there. That's no longer on this channel. That's on the main channel. And uh, yeah, that was part of our massive rebranding we have going on. We also got new graphics for all of our streams. We also got a bunch of... Oh, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> There's always some kind of fresh hell, isn't there? Uh, there's also a bunch of nodes on it, too. No, it's thrusting upward. Ugh. We gotta get close to it. Wait, okay, it's stopping. That's a first. Is it? <laughs> It's burned off the entire back of the ship. Okay. Carter, seems like the AI has gone all haywire in here. It's wreaking havoc on all the ship systems. Keep your nose down and your eyes up, Cutter. I fucking disconnected all the ship systems. Anyway. <laughs> um. But yeah. I think another reason that the Mass Effect playthrough didn't really take off is because I had just finished a Mass Effect playthrough going into it. And I only like to do a Mass Effect playthrough maybe once every two years. I'll go back and play Mass Effect. Because that is a game that I keep coming back to for one reason or another. It's good. It is a good game. It's just... I need time, and I need to refresh myself before we go back and do another playthrough. And that's... And that's what went hopelessly wrong with the last playthrough. Is that I didn't give myself enough time to refresh myself. And I was like, hey, no, we're gonna... No, no, we're gonna do Mass Effect. No, we're gonna do Mass Effect. Well... Now it's been years and years and years since I've actually played Mass Effect, and going into the Mass Effect trilogy, uh, like, like the way that the way that we're going to go into it, um, that will be. I'm, I have a feeling that we're actually going to beat it this time. I haven't actually decided the formatting on it though. I haven't decided if. We're gonna play through Mass Effect 1 and then immediately go into Mass Effect 2, or we're gonna wait a little bit, or what day it's gonna go on, or any of that, as a matter of fact. I haven't decided, um, I haven't decided when we're gonna pick it up. Obviously, we're gonna do it after. Looks like whatever happened here wasn't good. Try to take as many of them helmets back as you can. We'll see if we can recover some data and try to figure out what's going on. Now, obviously, uh, there, uh, there's still a bunch of stuff to work out with the, uh, upcoming Mass Effect playthrough, like thumbnails and stuff like that. Obviously, we gotta do, we gotta figure out those thumbnails, and, uh, there's gotta be, like, three different thumbnails, one for each game, obviously. Um... There was another playthrough that I really wanted to do called, um, for, uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4, but that also never went anywhere, and the thumbnails for that are actually done, and they're really good looking. The, the thumbnails for that look really, really good, um, and I still want to play through that game. I just don't know when. That's another thing. I don't know when or if I even still want to do that playthrough. Like, there are just some games that I don't want to play through, you know? Like, some games I want to keep. Like, for me. I want the, I want this, I want to take some of these games and be like, okay, I'm never going to play through this. This one's for me. This is one that I don't want to feel obligated to do videos for, you know? Because that's another thing with this channel is that... That's another thing that, um... 
it, that has been happening with uh, this channel is that video games feel more like a job now. Like, there are never just games that I can just, you know, play for me. I want there to be more games for me, you know? And that's another reason that I kind of want to go back to a one-off format. Now, obviously, we're still going to have some playthroughs. Like, obviously, every time a big VR game comes out, I want to play it. I want to play the big VR titles that uh, always come out because there aren't enough of those, and I believe in VR. And VR, I firmly believe, is the future. We, we do need uh, VR on the channel. And there aren't enough, uh, there isn't enough VR on YouTube as it is. Or at least not where I've been looking. To be fair, I don't watch the other Let's Players. I barely even watch clips of other Let's Players, which is because I like to keep this channel like somewhat original and we have our own original material and I feel that that's a more professional way of going about things honestly because like I already quote too much stuff as it is and that's impulse and I'm trying to work on that and I would love nothing more than to just always do my own thing but it's hard this channel has also been a learning experience for me and i'm and i'm slowly trying to learn how to manage this channel and the main channel because you may have noticed that this channel has had a pretty consistent upload schedule, but the main channel has not. And that is a huge issue because the main channel is, that's the money maker. This channel doesn't make enough money to keep, to keep us afloat, but at least not yet anyway. Uh, that, that's why we tell you to go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. We don't just tell, we don't just say that to joke around. It actually does help. We want this channel to grow. I would love nothing more than for this channel to be fully profitable, which is another reason we get really excited every time new codes come in from developers that really want us to play their games. So one-offs are uh, probably going to really come back into the limelight. We, which is, I want that to happen, and I've been wanting that to happen for a really long time now, I think. And honestly, I think it's about time. We've been doing too many playthroughs. Like, who wants to watch a channel where we just play through everything? Like, just all the time with playthroughs. But, you know, it just sucks. Like, every now and then, yeah, we could go back to uh, a game, like, every now and then if we really, really like it. One game that's doing that uh, lately has been Manic Miners. Manic Miners has been really, really fun. And uh, and uh, that's mostly because people know that, Manic, that uh, LEGO Rock Raiders is my favorite game of all time. And, yeah, obviously we're still going to keep doing those. But, um, I feel like we don't need to play th just play all the way through most of these games that we're playing. Now, obviously there are other ones in the pipeline that I keep mentioning that we're definitely going to do. And then we never do, like Command and Conquer Generals or, um... Oh god, another one, another big one that I really wanted to do for the longest time was Medal of Honor Frontline. Because you may have noticed that I'm a Medal of Honor fan. And, uh, every now and then we see a Medal of Honor game come out. Like right now, we're in the middle of our Medal of Honor Above and Beyond playthrough, which I'm absolutely having a blast with. And I wholeheartedly defend that game, uh, to hell and back because... It is extremely underappreciated. It's directed by Steven Spielberg, and uh, 
and it's actually a really good game. It is it is a return to form for the Medal of Honor franchise, and that is actually been fully filmed. We have videos all the way up to the end of the game. Um, that playthrough isn't going anywhere. We're going to finish that one. So yeah, there are a number of games that I want to play through, but th at the same time, there are also ones that are currently going, but the game is just really, really long. Ghost of Tsushima, for example, is um, a game that is really, 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 really long. That is a long game. That's also why we'll never see... Uh, that's also why we'll never see a full Persona playthrough. Now, recently, we had a we had a video for Persona, but that's just what it was. It was just a video. We're never going to play through a 130-hour game. And... Uh... And I just lost the ship, so I think this is the end of the video. Um... Okay! Uh... <laughs> what? I... I... I, I'm speechless, honestly. I, I turned around for a second and it was gone. Well, that's where we stand, anyway. We're gonna finish up the playthroughs we have, but after that, I want us to go back to just playing games, you know? I'm also considering bringing back the tabletop so that we can play tabletop games. I want to get into the nerd stuff, because, like, I've been on this really long fantasy binge, honestly. That's why I built the world of Adia for our uh, Adia campaign on Dungeons & Dorkheads. Now, originally, Dungeons & Dorkheads was gonna be on this channel, but now it's moved over to the main channel, which I feel is good, because that's gonna give the channel much more stuff to do. Like, I've been wanting to do a new, ch new show on the main channel forever, but all of the stuff on the main channel is just too big. We put a lot of production into all of our stuff over there, and we can't keep doing that because there's, like, months in between each video. And this is a, this is a low production show. It's, it's low effort, except on the DM's part and uh, a lot of the world building part. There has been a lot of work going into the Idea campaign, but once we have all that work done, uh, the production... Uh, the amount of production goes way, way down. And that, I feel like we need to start leaning over to that, is lower production shows over there. Obviously, we're still going to have big production stuff like Hunter Reviews and shorter Matt's Mind episodes. You've heard that we've shelved Howard's Mind if you watch that other video. And, yeah, I want to do just more I want to do more stuff. And that, I feel like, is the direction that this channel needs to go. Is it needs to have more. Not just the playthroughs. Obviously, we're still going to keep a number of playthroughs. Like, I promised you guys another season of Elite Dangerous, Hunter Saves the Galaxy. I said we were going to do that. And we're still going to do that because I am really excited for a new season of Hunter Saves the Galaxy. Because we're going to get the on-foot stuff with um, Odyssey. We're finally going to get the uh, Odyssey stuff. And uh, that's going to be awesome. Uh, we're doing the new Subnautica. Uh, there's going to be a... There's going to be a campaign playthrough for uh, Manic Miners. We're doing all that stuff. But I also want to do community maps on Manic Miners. Because... Manic Miners does really, really good, and that game has a level editor, and that really increases the uh, amount of substance with the game, which is what the original Rock Raiders was missing, which, um, we do need, 
we, we do need, um, I do want to do more stuff that you guys want. One of the biggest videos on this channel, in fact, it might be the biggest video, is the Fallout Equestria Alpha. That freaking video that's shot in the middle of a field with a table of guns. That's probably the biggest video on the channel. And, yeah. And we've been... We've been leaning further and further away from the My Little Pony stuff. At this point, Hunter's just a mascot. Like, this is not a brony channel in any capacity. It's just the mascot is on every thumbnail. And I'm not even sure if I want to keep that. So that's what's going on, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. If, uh... If you like this new direction, please, let me know down in the comments. That's another thing. You guys should, you guys should post more comments, because I do listen. Except for all those goddamn Russian bots that I keep getting. Thanks for listening, guys. Total haul for this 2.2 million dollars, which I doubt will even put a dent in my $985 million of debt. Huh. You know, we were actually cash positive today. How about that?